Welcome to Once Upon a Crime. Stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip, and the weather. I'm Yoni Ding. And I'm Lirangi. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is Huffy and Puffy after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Teddy Pika with more. I'm here in faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Talk to my lawyer about that. Not guilty at all. At all. At all. Yeah. You have been caught impersonating both a grandma and the sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? Me, allegedly. What do you have to say for that? He's obviously a sheep. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I'll blow your mama's houses away. You better not. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trials. Back to the studio. Now for the news of escaped, kidnapped here is Hansel and Gretel. This story captured the heart of the nation and caused the media frenzies last year. They have spoken out for the first time about the ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds A.R. Bread Crumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Ada was at the books released in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hi, I'm Ada, and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? On jewellery. On a very expensive house. Hansel, you're obviously back in great shape now after being fattened up from all that eating. How did you do it? I went to the gym. What have you learned through this experience? You never trust witches, and you never steal from them. Thank you for your time and good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast after failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets. Sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter, Alize. Thanks and hello everyone. I'm Alize here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast and hello and smooches to you both. Now yours was a classic love story. Um, where two opposites fall in love against the odds, how is it going with two? Very strange, very weird and very bad. Very strange, very bad and I want to divorce papers. So you're something of a beauty beauty and you're a total beast beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? And that's just strange. Oh, strange again. <laughs> your recon your recon album did not sell well and you fashion label has gone bust. What next for you to love birds? Start a new business without him, of course. Um, I'll be really poor hotter without you. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best of of for the future. Back to you in the studio. 
Thanks, Alizé. Now it's time for a faraway land. Weather update with Araki Noya, who will have the first weather of the Fenmore this week. Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the Firewood Kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops, and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week, with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight. On Wednesdays, wrap up warm. If you're living in a house made of sticks, straws, or gingerbread, because it'll be free for freezing. Finally, Charles living in the bridges in the west might want to f- find a beanstalk to climb up. On Friday, heavy rain will lead to flowing. Otherwise, it's happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. That's all for tonight. Although we have ju- have just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail, since our interview he is hungry, angry and on, his, on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole team at once upon a crime. Good, Good night. night. <laughs>